Hello, hello. Um, this is the 10th lab, if I'm counting this correctly. Uh, so this is going to be exactly the copy of the 9th lab, which was SQL injection attack listing the database contents on, uh, on non-Oracle databases. But in this lab, we're going to do the same attack, but this time we're going to do it on Oracle database. So first thing first, I'm going to open this in a new tab. Go to this, just make sure to read the description. And to solve this lab, we need to log in as an administrator user. Access the lab, make sure you have your proxy on, so you're capturing all the traffic on your burp switch. First thing first, what I do is I copy the link, go to my burp, target, scope, paste URL, go to my proxy, HTTP history, go back to console, refresh the page, and the reason I do this is because I only want to capture the traffic and see the traffic that is only coming from this endpoint and this endpoint only. Again, the most important, very valuable clue that they gave us is the category, categories parameter is vulnerable to SQLi, and we're going to go from there. Click on any categories here. I'm going to click on pets right here. I captured it. I'm going to send it to repeater by pressing on control R. There we go. I'm going to send this to see if it all works. Yes, it does. First thing first, we're going to, we need to know how many columns there are. And I assume you know this already by doing the previous labs. If not, you could just focus on this and follow. Union, select, union, select null. And remember, this is, this is an Oracle database. So if, you, if you've been paying attention to the course, Porsche Weaker course, we need to have from dual whenever it is Oracle database. So I'm going to start with one null. I'm going to encode this. And I'm going to go from here, send it. No, it's more than one column. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add one more null to see if there are two columns and not one. All right. So this basically tells us, tells us that there are two columns. And now we need to know which columns contain a text. All right, so this is how we do. Doesn't matter what you have here. I'm just going to have that. I'm going to send it if both of the columns contain a text and it looks like they do. So, again, to understand this, to you know complete this lab, you need to know what the Porsche Wigger course is telling you and you need to be paying attention to every detail. So, so on ninth lab, I showed you this, right? On non-Oracle databases, you can list the tables by having this query, information schema tables. But on Oracle, Oracle database, you cannot use that query, but instead you can use this query and list the tables. So let's do this. I'm just going to copy this, all tables. But again, though, all of this is available on the course. So, you know, it's nothing new. Okay, it's just to refresh your mind. So I need to get tables. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to this first text area. I, I'm going to type table, table. 
name I'm trying to get a table name by using that all tables query and I'm gonna send this okay I got 200 so I need to look for tables as you can see there are a lot of new information here but if you've been paying attention to the previous labs it's always users table and I have six matches I'm gonna search until I get on the users okay so this is the table that we got so it's gonna be users and some extra characters just copy that save it somewhere I'm gonna save it here and now we need to use that table and get the columns and this is how we do it just like previous uh, lab but for Oracle so column name from all tables but for columns we do all tab columns from so where table name equal to this table and send it all right we got 200 now i'm gonna look for columns called username and password this is the username column i'm gonna have it here and i'm gonna look search for password and this is the password clone now fun part i'm gonna say select user and password from this from this please from okay from this table select user and password column from this user and give me the content of it and i'm gonna search for administrator all right right here and this looks like a password to make sure to double check it we could try to log in if it and if it does let's let us log in then that's a that's a way to go all right so we were able to log in and we've solved the lab thank you